Hey, this is Lego Matic 9, and today I'm reviewing another Transformer. Today it is Transformers Movie Jazz. It's not the final battle, but I indeed do have them. And I have made a Lego Jazz. It actually does transform, but I'm not going to show you that because it isn't called Lego Transformer Jazz. And he comes with this little cannon. A can pin on the back. Well, to the spoiler, you can pull it out to be like a sword sniper thing. But I usually just keep it in my gut. In a transformer, you just take the cannon off, set it back to the side. Take the spoiler, take the back of it, and put that up. Just take this back part and flip that down and snap it in. Flip down those parts. Snap that down. Just pull out these things and twist them around. And take these parts and flip those down for the feet. And flip out the heel spurs. And then just take the uh, wheels and take those and flip those flip those out like that and fold them or then take this part right here take that and flip that all the way down and flip up that so it's like that then take this part and flip that out and fold that in that is his hand but he can't really hold anything so that's one of my complaints. And just the same with the other side. So flip those out. And then here's the little auto morph. And with, when you fold this down, the head pops up and this thing pops out. Like that. There you have him in his robot mode. And he can hold his gun, but. There's a little hole right there, and a rod, and the rod can sn snap in the hole, and he also does have one here, but I usually use this one, so he can hold his gun, and it can not be used like as a sword or sniper, but keep it like that, and the back part, you can see, it's kind of hard. that off and it can be his shield. There's a little rod right there and it fits right into that hole on the wheel. So that's cool. And I'd give Jazz a nine out of ten because this shield doesn't really doesn't really stay is if you like bump it while you're playing with it, it just falls down then you have to move it back up and that his hands are like really small and in the movie he has four fingers and in the figure it looks like he only has three but maybe that's just two fingers but close together but he's still a cool figure and my next review will be on Ironhide, and he is the premium series. So, that's my review. Bye.